Well, Matty, it feels strange not to have had a Tuesday game and, and be at the training ground, but um, tell us how the preparations have gone this week. Well, we actually did have a Tuesday game. The boys who haven't played as many minutes um, and have needed a game, we had a good game against um, a strong Brentford team. Uh, it was nil-nil and there was a lot of good performances in there. Obviously, the boys who have been playing uh, in the first team have, have managed to have a bit of a rest, a bit of a recovery, but obviously get some good work in as well. So it's been... Uh, it's probably been a bit of a down week for them, which they needed because it's just been so hectic. But um, for the boys who needed the game, got a really good workout against Brentford, and um, everyone's fit and raring to go. Uh, good session this morning, and uh, looking forward to another game. Mm. New head coach has obviously come in and he said about how hectic the schedule's been, and he has been looking forward to get out on the training pitch. So, how's that been so far this week? Yeah, good. Um, I'd say today, especially as everyone was together more, so he managed to get in some, some kind of bit of of his philosophy that we we probably have seen in the games as well but he's managed to get a bit more in on the training pitch maybe just get a few more layers and um, and more ideas into the players so that's been good today boys have had shown a great attitude since he's walked through the door you know um, and I think everyone's in a positive mindset looking forward to games there's a good feel good factor so it's just about not taking anything for granted and keep doing it. Mm. And he's actually sung your praises a couple of times in interviews since he's been in. Have you found it as well, the working relationship? As he, I don't, I don't listen to uh, your interviews, Luke, but um, <laughs> no, I found it really good. It's, um, it's been really positive. Obviously, you're always never sure when someone new comes in, but um, I had a really good chat with him and it feels like it's a, it's a really strong relationship amongst all the staff. So really enjoy it, really enjoying his ideas. Um, I think you can see it on the training pitch and I can see I think you can see all the, the players that are enjoying it and you know and they're relishing each game and they're working hard for each other. So I think as I've just said it's it's a real good feel for good factor. Not only with the players but the staff as well. So um, long may it continue but you also do understand that um, results kind of affect that. So we need to be pretty even and just keep doing what we need to do and, and keep getting results. Mm. Walsall Saturday felt like quite a good result, especially after that disappointment of um, Oldham in midweek. Yeah, I mean, I think Oldham was a really tough game, you know, they're fighting for their lives and I don't think we were at our best um, and there's obviously certain factors around that, but I think it was very important we bounced back, um, the manager spoke about it on the Thursday after Oldham, mm. you know, don't don't lose two games and we always bounce back, good teams bounce back and I think we showed that with a really strong away performance, we probably could have had more goals in the first half. Uh, but we showed a lot of professionalism as well, so loads of loads of positives from that performance, and I think it was a deserved result as well. In terms of the team goals, oh, that opener was really special. Yeah, great goal, and it, and it is stuff we talked about. You know, it's um, Hector getting on the ball, um, way to pass, good forward runs from the midfield, and then Harry really good finish in the box. So it's a lot of the stuff that's been asked of him. Mm. No, he didn't score at the weekend, but obviously Russ Tiri has been in really hot form, and as a former striker yourself, that must be particularly pleasing to see. Yeah, I mean, I've always uh, had a lot of time for Ruel. I think he's a, he's a great little player. So it's really good that he's come in almost fresh. He's probably been really frustrated this season. He he's, hasn't had more chances or he hasn't stayed in the team as much as he should have. Um, so I think he's using that frustration to drive him at the moment. And uh, to be honest, since Colchester, he's been on fire, hasn't he? You know, But I think it's the goals, but the performances and the work rate as well. It's been massive. So... Uh, he's just got to keep it going, you know, can't take anything for granted, keep it going um, and have a really strong end to the season. Mm. Started away this Saturday and I believe last time we were there, it was a dramatic one. Cool, yeah, I still have flashbacks to that one. Um, yeah, it was a crazy game, the penalty we got, I think their goalkeeper at the time decided to flick a ball up in like the 85th minute, so no, it was crazy, it was a tough game though, really, um, I think it was a tough game them and they've kind of moved on from that as well, I know their manager quite well, um, he's a really good guy, he's got his team playing for him they've obviously done well in the league and got to the final um, at Wembley on, on Sunday so it's going to be a really tough tough result they're a real, they've got a real good togetherness and spirit you can see that in the team so it's going to be another really good test but it's one, one we can look forward to and relish you know um, there's not a huge amount of pressure on us but we put a lot of pressure on ourselves to get results so it's one we have to have to go there and really enjoy it, but also do what we need to do to get the result. Mm. And you've know, obviously watched a bit of Sutton in the build up to Saturday and across the season as well. It's fair to say they've surprised people again. Why do you think that is? Um, well, I don't know. They haven't surprised me really because I think if you come up from that league um, and you win it quite convincingly, then you've obviously got a strong um, kind of way of doing things. And they've just stuck to that and they've probably 
use that momentum to really drive them forward. So it'll be a really tough game. I think they've got they've got good players and, and obviously a good coach. So um, there's a big feel good factor around that club, and we we need to go there and understand that, and then do what we need to do. Mm. In terms of selection for the weekend, I don't know if there's too many um, injuries to, to report home, but how's the squad looking? Yeah, look, uh, squad's looking good. Um, Obviously, I think if you look at her, we've got quite a few numbers, so there is decisions to make. And uh, I think, as the manager always says, it's down to how you train, you know, and your attitude and your mentality. So there'll obviously be decisions to make, but I think we've got um, quite a strong squad to select from. Awesome. Cheers, mate. Cheers, mate.